Stage two of the Dauphiné promises to be a crucial encounter for the GC hopefuls. 135 kilometers in total, but it's all about the final 17.5 of the Col de Port, the first of four Hawk category climbs on the menu between now and Sunday. Eight riders went up the road early, including four Frenchmen. Bruno Amirai of Group Armour FDJ, Fabien Dubé from Circus Wanta Gobert, and Total Direct Energy pair Jerome Cousin and Jeffrey Soup. Also in there, Casper Asgreen from De Koenig Quickstep, Team Sunweb's at Jasa Sutterlin, Entity Pro Cycling's at Ben O'Connor, and the man in the blue polka dot jersey, Michael Shah, who was already part of yesterday's breakaway. They were kept though on a very tight leash indeed by Jumbo Visma, the gap never exceeding three and a half minutes back to the peloton. Other teams getting involved in the chase as well, Bahrain McLaren working hard for their leader, Mikkel Lander, and Bora Hounsgrohe up there for Emmanuel Buchmann. The serious business kicked off on the Category 1 Cote Maillet, just over six kilometres at 8%. The peloton starting to thin out, with Brookman's teammate Peter Sagan participating in his very first Dauphiné this year, among the riders going backwards. The breakaway also beginning to come apart at the seams as Shah began to up the tempo. Only Amirai was able to stay with the Swiss, Shah collecting 10 more King of the Mountains points up at the summit. Race leader Wout van Aert pulling for Jumbo Visma as the gap continued to drop. And then a crash in the peloton. Colombian champion Sergio Higuita going to ground. Big crash. It looks like the yellow jersey of Wout van Aert is down. There's a lot of riders on the deck. Well, van Aert had actually avoided the spill, but his teammate Tom Dumoulin and Dan Martin were among those caught up in it. Onto the Col de Port with Amirai pushing on alone. Shah soon caught by the peloton, but it was almost game over two for Amirai. The entire team Ineos, all seven riders moving to the front of the peloton and looking to stamp their authority on the race. All the talk in recent days has been of Jumbo Visma. Setting a furious tempo Ineos as plenty of big names began to go backwards. Alejandro Valverde, Warren Bargill and Adam Yates all dropped. Even Chris Froome couldn't handle the pace that was set by his teammates. The group of favourites strung out as the fireworks kept coming. Buchmann, fourth at last year's tour, had a go, but he was quickly reeled in by Jumbo Visma's Sepp Kuss. The unflappable American also shut down that move from Bernal before teeing up Primoz Roglic to perfection. The Slovenian streaking clear inside the final kilometre. This is a furious attack by the Slovenian champion. The team have done so much work for him today. Primoz Roglic has got the distance on everybody now as he attacks towards the top of the climb. So Roglic taking a brilliant victory on the Col de Port ahead of Thibaut Pino and Buchmann. A superb fourth place for Guillaume Martin ahead of Nairo Quintana. Four Colombians in the top ten with Bernal bringing up the rear. Two stages, two victories for Jumbo Visma and Roglic showing why he is one of the hot favourites for this year's tour. The world number one outshone Bernal to win the Tour de Lain last week and he looks more than capable of winning a second Grand Tour after last year's Vuelta a España, especially with the support of his formidable team. We all knew that uh, the end will be a uh, hard climb, uh, I think the hardest of, of this race, uh, at least with the finishing. And uh, yeah, we, with the whole team, we start controlling, uh, controlling the race uh, immediately from the beginning. Uh, yeah, the, the guys are really strong, so they, they manage it perfectly. And uh, yeah, we were, we were able, uh, able to follow till the end. And uh, at the end, uh, uh, I, was, I was happy that I was able, uh, able to win it. Roglic now leads Pino by 12 seconds overall, with Buchmann, Bernal and Martin in the top five. Quintana heads up the rest of the GC hopefuls, who are 20 seconds off the pace. Another big day of climbing on stage three, with a slog up the iconic Col de la Madeleine, and then a summit finish into Saint-Martin de Belleville. Can anybody unseat Roglic and Jumbo Visma? Join us again tomorrow to find out, and thanks very much for watching.